So how, how do you feel about what, uh, about, about Asian? Yeah, bad. But <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm in my, I'm in the second half of my fifties now, and it, in all honesty, I'm I'm slightly falling apart. I think I'm developing nervous disorders and aches and. I don't think I'll do this for much longer because I don't want to fall apart. When you say this, sort of TV. TV. Yeah, I don't want to fall apart in public. It would just be, it would be undignified, and and I don't think people want to see it. So, so how long left have we got of of, of the grand tour? Oh, I don't, the grand tour. I don't know. Um, there's almost certainly more of it behind us than there is in front of us. Mm. I mean. Jeremy's even older than me. Well, he's um, 60 soon, isn't he? Yeah, and he's any second, I think. He's 60. Uh, I'm going to be 57 quite soon. Even Hammond's 50 next week. Uh, how much longer do you want to see old blokes? Jeremy's possibly even more decrepit than I, me. I, I'm a Top Gear and Grand Tour nut, so I, I could watch you. No, and, when and it takes us 15 minutes to get out of a Ferrari, do you really want to see that? Or is well, it just, it's famously, it's you're, not gonna, sad. you're not doing cars anymore, are you? So well, well, we are back in you, cars for the next one. You could do, um, you could do wheelchairs or what, what those motor, mobility, mobility scooters. Mobility scooters, yeah. Done those, actually, oh, they? yeah. yeah. And we could do them again. Cars, yeah. Um, yeah, I know. I, I, don't, I don't know at what point you're supposed to leave the audience wanting more mm. that's the old that's the adage of showbiz isn't it so we should try and do that it's very difficult when it, we never thought we'd be doing it for this long um, and we never really thought about how it would end and we always said in recent years well one day we have to land it and walk away not fly it into sure. the cliff but most people end up flying it into the cliff and I am probably the most contemporary of the three of us the other two are slightly locked in the 1920s that's a little bit too much to my taste, like people going out and having a good time in the name of the cause. I don't like the idea that we must protest and say the government must do something. I think we have to do something as individuals. Would you say you're the most mindful of that out of sort of the trio of you? Well, yeah, but that's, you know, that's like saying you live in the posh bit of Rotherham. It's not much of an achievement. It's perfectly possible. They might go off and get married or something. I don't know what, I don't know what they're thinking, but yeah, I'd be happy by myself. Do you reckon they can make it without you? Yes. I think they seriously thought about it at one point. Well, you haven't got a James is, so we'll go with James May. Yes, I am getting too old for this. And too fragile. That's just... It's the one thing I didn't anticipate. I never imagined I would be old. I will probably sort of retire into obscure YouTube videos about making things and then I'll just be gradually forgotten and I'll fade away. Have you, um, have you received offers before to do them? Yes. I shouldn't say who because that's considered bad form, but I decline. It involved dancing, if that's a clue. <laughs> it wasn't on ice. <laughs> I don't think I'm the sort of person that people want to watch on those shows. I think they quite like to watch Jeremy Clarkson on one, possibly even Richard Hammond. I think people would like to see either of them in the jungle. I think, no, not vegan. I can imagine being vegetarian. I go through phases of it. Um, no, I think vegan is a bit too difficult. You have to read everything, and it's always printed very, very small, and you can't find your glasses. Weirdly, beef hula hoops are, I think, they're certainly vegetarian, if not vegan. There you go, you could just lift off those. I pretty much do. <laughs> oh, what have I done? That's right, I've, I've, I've mended it, as Jeremy Clarkson would say, I've mended it!